Philip, many congratulations on Blaine. A, a tremendously tough performance for us with so little experience. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for only his second start, he, uh, he didn't have to tough it out. I was delighted with him, you know. Mm. And uh, was it always the plan to be handy, or would you have preferred to have a little more of a toe into the race? I wasn't really bothered. I mean, Kevin was just keen. I got him into a rhythm, really. Um, and, he, and he did. And in fairness, as soon as I sort of got to um, Richard Fye's horse, the sort of girth, he, he came good at halfway, and uh, I was just very straightforward for him. Has there ever been any doubt in any anyone's mind at the yard that this horse is well above average has he always shown that we've always liked him from day one um, he's still he's still not even quite there he feels like he'd be much better next year um, but no he's always showed us a lot of ability and uh, like you say he's even chucked in the deep end today but it's just that ability that's got him through he obviously handled the, the surface well today how's he riding well it's definitely taken the sting out of it they're kicking up the top but it's only good ground um, and I actually think that's sort of done him a favor just taking that taking that jar out from you know it's funny, after the first race, some of the um, lads were saying that the ground was a bit sticky and dead, but I guess if you've ridden a nice winner, it's always good ground, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like they're knocking the top off and, and they're just taking the top off, but it is only good ground under. Do you feel there's any natural advantage, inbuilt advantage, to being up with the pace, or was that just a function of the fact they didn't appear to go very quickly? Yeah, we didn't go that hard, um, but I mean, this track sort of lends itself to freewheeling, you know, in front, and, uh, you know, it's, it's any, any more than usual, I don't think it is. Now, the Ryan team have a very strong hand in the Coolmore Nunthorpe a little bit later on, including Blaine's half-brother Bogart, but you don't ride Bogart, you ride you ride Tiddly Winks. Did you have the choice of all three? Um, well, I definitely had the choice between him and Bogart. Um, and Tiddly Winks is probably in the form of his life. Um, I just everything's teed up for him, I think. Probably could have done without last yesterday's rain, but I think he's... I think he's got some sort of chance anyway. And they're all horses who like to push the pace. I guess you're quite conscious of not doing each other's chances. Yeah, I mean, Tiddlewinks just loves to stalk and, and, and get there late. So uh, it looks, as I say, it looks teed up. It looks so teed up. Masama, Masama and, uh, and Bogart are going to tee it up for him. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fast horses in it. Um, like I say, and I, I just think that the race should be ideal for him anyway.